Okay, folks, this wee video is to help you to save your bandwidth if you're short of money. Uh, you're worried about when you're rooting about using maps and you just know you're just not getting a signal or whatever. Plus, the thing about maps, let's go into it. The thing about maps, maps is made up of loads of wee pictures, and if you're zoomed away, it's like pictures, and each time you zoom in and you get smaller, all these wee pictures have to be redrawn. So all of that's eating your bandwidth, and if you're worried about that, you don't, you don't want to spend any more money that you can't afford, then here's a wee tip how to save you some money. Here we are on maps, and let's say this is the area we want to visit, and down here at the crossroads, this is where we have to get off our bus, and then we have to get through all these houses, now you, you would probably have to search that because all the rows twist and turn, and, and we want to go main list from here up to here. So what I would do, I would take a picture of just that, and this is what we're going to do, hold the button down there, and the V button at the very top, if we hold them at the same time and just count to one, two, let it go. I just took a picture of that entire area. So if I get into my photos folders, you'll find that photograph and then you can zoom into that. So, like I say, this is where we want to get at, we want to get at the bus here at the wee crossroads. So let's zoom into there. So as we've got an idea of where we are. See, see that drawn itself? It's all wee squares, it's all wee pictures, and each time you zoom in, it's doing that. So that's eating up your memory and you don't want that. So, and again. And, and that's the thing about these things, you're always footing about and you're pulling in data that you don't want to waste, you just want to go to the one point. So let's say I have to get the bus there. Now the road's split and I've got an, a, a various idea, so if I scroll that down a wee bit, and let's say there, so I'm getting half away down here, right, I can see I'm going that way and I need to get up there. So we can take another picture holding the same buttons. One, two. Just took a picture. And then like I said, see, see continuously drawing itself, all bandwidth. And if you can't afford it, it's a pain. And let's see up at the wee dot there. So if we zoom into the wee dot, the wee dot area, and what we'll do, uh, we'll try and keep some features in mind. So you've got a big long road there, and you can see certain areas that you need to be, so I need to be up there. And we can just click on that as well. Boom. Now, you, you might be thinking, well, you're wasting bandwidth now. Well, technically I'm not. I'm in the house, I'm beside my, my modem on my laptop, and I'm just streaming this straight across, so it's not costing me any money. And, which is the good thing about doing it if you're sitting in the house before you need to go. And then let's say, again, we'll just grab it random here. It's not necessarily. And then we need to go to here. We've got a meeting here. See that? It's having to draw that. It's taking its time, bringing it in, boom. If you're walking about with your phone, you're not getting a great signal. That's going to be a lot more slower. So let's say we have to go to this big building here because we've got a job interview or whatever it is. And again, we'll just take a picture. Oh, no, 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 what we'll do is we'll just scroll down a wee bit. We'll turn it around. And then we'll turn it a wee bit. And then that way we can see other roads and passages and how how to get it there when right we need to come down here, run there, blah 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 and there's a big ball there. And again if we hold the two buttons, it just took in our picture. And then if there's other other features in there that you want you may you might think is it useful to show you where you are so you don't get lost. Like that that big circle thing there's quite noticeable on it. That's a running track as a matter of fact. So you, you might you might have to pass by that and go, right, I'll, I'll just take a picture of that because, oops, see I moved that and that's where it catches me, but that doesn't make any difference, it's just getting an idea. And then that way, when you're out and about, you just get into your photographic folder, you don't need to get into maps, maps is eating all your memory up, and you're using the bandwidth in the house, get into your photos folder, look at your photos, boom, save yourself some money, particularly if you've not got it. Okay, we're in the albums folder, and as you can see, it's created its very own folder called Screenshots. And if we just click on one of the photos, this photograph is one of the full zoomed out shots. And you can quite easily use that if you wanted to go all the way up the roads. But the only thing is, when you're screen capturing these, the, the image quality isn't, isn't the greatest. So if we zoom in here, it's actually quite blurry. It's actually quite bl blurry. For instance, that there in Wolverhampton, that, that is a graveyard there. So if somebody says, I want you to be there, you may go, I'm not quite sure of that. So that's the reason for zooming into an area, taking another picture, and in that way you've got good detail. So it's a good way of saving money if you just don't have the money or you're running out of bandwidth and you're having to wait till the end of the month. And like I say, photographs, uh, maps is made out of multiple little photographs, and that's what's the problem. I'm David Cameron, Paisley Photographer.